Hi guys, welcome to Karen's Corner. Uh, this is actually kind of a bit of a weird angle because you can see my two uh, YouTube lights. I have those lights on whenever I film at my desk and I'm gonna film at my desk uh, in a while so I have them on already. Looks a bit weird. So a while back I decluttered my washi tape and uh, I'm very happy I did that because I had so much <laughs> and uh, I bought lots of it because it was cheap and cute and um, I just got rid of loads of it. So what I have now is what I really, really like. So I found out that ever since I've been using washi tape in almost every project I'm doing. So it's working. <laughs> so I thought, you know what, I want to do that with the rest. I have so many stamps, I have so many, well, all kinds of crafting stuff. <laughs> I've been crafting for about 20 years and I also had my own crafting store, well actually my stamping store. So what you see behind me that was all filled with stamps uh, to sell. So I sold some at home when people came by, had some tea and bought some stamps. <laughs> I also did workshops and I had an internet store and I went to craft fairs and it was awesome and I loved it. But then, well my handicap was just a bit too much to go to craft fairs and do too much. So I had to stop, I had to close the stamping store. And that was so sad, but I do have a really awesome craft space now <laughs> in the middle of my living room, which I absolutely love. But I think it's just a bit too cluttered. I want it to be cute and lots of pastel colors and uh, happy, cute stuff. I really like that, but I just have too much. I have so many stamping up stamples, stamples, that's Dutch. I have so many stamping up stamps. It's just way too much. Let me just show you. Um, for the rest of the video, I'm probably gonna sit down because I've been ill for about four weeks now, on and off, and my energy is very low and uh, yeah. So I'm gonna uh, organize everything sitting down so you'll only see my hands, but I just wanted to say hi. So let me show you what I mean. So look how cute this is, washi tape. <gasps> it's so awesome. <laughs> okay. So um, I need to dust it, but well, I've been ill, so good excuse. I have this stuff. I have so many of these stamping up uh, sets and I also have some, let me walk over here. I also have some over here and some over there and I have more. So yeah, I also have these flowers guys, loads of flowers and I never use them because first of all, I can reach this. I'm standing on my toes. I can't reach it. <laughs> so I just never bother. Ah, oh, boy, there's even lots of dust. <clears throat> okay, I never bother to get them because I can't reach them. And uh, yeah, I never use them. Right, and I'm over here again. <laughs> so as you can see, those flowers, they're really awesome. And I really love them. And I like the bottles. I like the way it looks, but I just never use it. I bought it when I had my own store. And um, I bought lots when I had my own stamping store. Because you then see, you see stuff and you think, oh, I like that. The flowers I bought when we went to a wholesale event. <laughs> and I thought, whoa, I want them. So I bought loads of flowers and I sold lots in my shop. But I kept a bottle for myself. And I bought a lot of stamps when I had my stamping store. And when I was a stamping up demonstrator, I bought loads of stamping up stamps, of course. But uh, because I couldn't do workshops, because my feet just didn't allow me to stand still for a long time. I am standing still for a long time now, but I am getting better. I'm working at it. <laughs> uh, I have physiotherapy and stuff and it's really working. Anyway, um, I just couldn't do the workshops and then you just don't earn that much. So I had to buy lots of stuff to keep my uh, monthly, to have enough to stay a stamping up demonstrator. And I really love the stamps, but I bought way too much and I never use it. So I thought, you know what, I just have too much. I have just way too much and I love it all. But I'm going, sort, uh, going to sort through it just like I did with my washi tape. And I hope I'll enjoy what's left way better. Boy, that was really a hard decision to make. But I'm going to do it. So I'm going to start with um, my uh, stamping up items. I'm going to do it the Marie Kondo way. And to be honest, guys, I have never read a book of her. I have hardly seen any videos of her. Well... You can't miss it, there are so many now, so I did see some. But the only thing I use is, if it sparks joy, keep it. If it doesn't, toss it. And also try to, to put everything you have together. Now, because I have so much to declutter and because of my low energy, that's just way too much to do. So I'm doing it in little 
parts but I'm going to get all my stamping up out and uh, I can now already see that I have way too much so I don't need to put it on a pile to know this is insane I can see that behind me <laughs> well you can see it behind me I can't <laughs> Boy. <laughs> So I'm going to start with my stamping up stamps and I'm going to share that with you, the process, and it's going to be really hard, I know that. And then uh, probably tomorrow or the day after I'm going to do the flowers and after that we'll see. Let me just show you one more thing. Over here I have loads of stamps and stuff. This is paper, I know I want to keep this, but here are more stamps and there are more stamps. In the attic I have so many uh, st uh, mounted stamps. Over here I have punches, loads of them. And I know I want to use a lot of them, but I don't want all of them. So, here are more stamps. Well, like I said, there are stamps. And guys, this is my desk. When you go under my desk, loads of stamps. Those are all Hero Art stamps and all kinds of other stamps. I do use a lot of them. Well, of that, those two. Those are my Diane Reefly uh, stamps. I use them a lot, dilutions. And those are Crafty Secrets. I love those. So I don't think I'm going to throw out much of that. But over here I have two ba baskets, two containers full of hero arch that I hardly use. I don't even know what's in here. And more and more. And over there more. Yeah. So, stuff like this. I haven't taken this out in... Well, I have used one last week. And before that, I think a year ago, maybe one. So yeah, I need to declutter. So, ooh, <laughs> this looks nice. So I'm gonna put you over there. <laughs> and let's sort out some of those. Right, let's just get started. <laughs> it's taken me a while to get started because I want to show you this as well. This is a mess. That's a mess. Oh, that's relatively nice. And that's a mess. I really need to sort things out, clean things, and get a spot for everything. I don't have a home for what I, uh, for everything, and that's the Marie Kondo way as well. What you keep, you have to give a home, you have to give a place. I don't have it, so I want to create it. And now I'm gonna get started. <laughs> okay, I'm going to use my cute Hello Kitty background. <laughs> so, I'm just going to get everything out. Oh my goodness, look at how much this is. This is just one shelf. I have the other shelf to do, but this is just uh, this shelf. <clears throat> yeah, so that really works the Marie Kondo way. Uh, put everything together and look at it. It's way more than when you see it on a shelf. I need to get rid of a lot. Oh my goodness, guys, how do I start? So a lot of the first ones, this is number... Oh, well... You can see number one and number two. I put them together in because you had this whole thing with just half of this. And I thought that's insane. It takes up so much space. So I uh, combined them. So I cut it in, uh, in half. Put one over here and the other one upside down over here. And I do have this thing. Let me just open it. And uh, over here you can see in number one you have these uh, sentiments and in two you have these. And then over here, this is wood, let's just see. So over here you have number one and this is number two. So that's in this case. So that's really handy and it works really nice. You ha I can see which punches go with it. And uh, oh, I know this is going to be very hard because when you see it like this, it's really nice. But I just never use it. Although this with the punches, uh, I think might be really nice. I like these little things that you can stamp in here and then punch it out. So this sparks joy when I see it. I also, I want to know, does it spark joy? But I also want to know, am I going to use it, say, within a year? Now that's not really, I have so much, so I don't think a year might be you know, I'm not going to use everything I'm going to keep in a year, but soon. <laughs> like a year is not soon. But anyway, if I think, uh, if I have ideas with it, if I think I want to keep it, and if I think it's worth the space in my craft room. So yeah, this is worth the space in my craft room. 
So I do need to keep this with it uh, at the beginning because I want to know if there's a punch with it. Oh, I can sort those out later. Okay. So, um, happily I want to keep one and two. This one. Yeah, I did use the bird once. It was really cute, but yeah. Um, I do love the happy birthday in this one. And I do like these flowers. Oh, this is one I'm not sure of. Because I like the fact that you have punches, but I haven't used it. So I'm... Sorry, I'm probably gonna have a pile, a large pile with... I'm not really sure, because I find it very hard. So that's this one. This one! Ooh, this is a big one. I also have two in here. This I have never used, I think. And this I have never used as well. Well, oh, there's more in here. Look at it. Because this is such a big thing, you can put one, two, three sets in here. So that's what I did. So I did use the Christmas trees and I really like those. So those I want to keep. Uh, so how am I going to do this? These I don't want. I don't need a tree. I have used it once. Really once. And this I haven't used at all. And I do have to punch. So I'm not really sure how to sell this because... Uh, there are three of them in one package, but I'll find out. So I do want to keep the Christmas tree. So I have to keep this separate because... I'm not gonna do that. Wait. I want to keep the Christmas tree, so I'm gonna take out the Christmas tree. Uh, I only did this with the first 25 sets or so, and after that I kept them like a complete set. So for now it's gonna be a bit difficult, but after a while this is gonna get better. So these I don't want. And these I want to keep. Yes. I need to make a pile of I don't want this. And uh, a keep pile and I'm not certain pile. My goodness. What's next? Uh, this one I really love. I have used it and I really want to use it again. Oh, this is just one. One. Okay. So, this one I'm going to keep. Uh... This one I find really hard because I really love these sentiments and this... Yes, I know. No, this is not hard. I really like this. I just don't... That's the trouble with stamping up. I love this, I love this, and I like this. I don't want that. Sometimes I just want one stamp. And then you have the whole set. And it's pretty expensive. Okay. Uh, guys, some of the sets I have twice. I know this is one of them, so this one is gonna go. I haven't used it, so it's brand new. Gonna go <laughs> out of pile. This one I absolutely love. I love the cupcakes. I know I'm gonna use them again. So that one I'm gonna keep. I really do like stamping up. I didn't become a stamping up uh, demonstrator because I didn't like it. I love it, but yeah, I, it was just wasn't for me. I couldn't do workshops and then yeah. Uh, this one is really really cute, but I know. Although it's Sakura, and I love Sakura, I don't have many stamps. So this is gonna be on the I'm not sure pile, because I have to see if I have different Sakura stamps. This set. This set can go. So um, I need to figure out how to do that. But I'm gonna put it on a I'm not sure pile, so I'll see this one again. And I know this one can go. But this one I'm not sure about. That's difficult with those sets uh, that have two of them. So this one I really like. Again, because this has punches and then you can make really cute stamps with it, which I like. And what was this? Oh, this one I have to do on the... I'm not sure about it pile. This was so awesome. Everyone made the most beautiful cards with this and I just never liked it. I'm not the, really the coloring type. I don't like coloring. I just don't really like it. I do like it a bit better now, but it's just not for me. And I really love these, but not enough to keep the rest. So, it's gonna go. Oh my gosh, it's gonna go. These are Dutch um, sentiments, and they're sometimes really hard to come by, so I need to keep these, although I don't really think they're awesome. But uh, I want to have some Dutch sentiments, so I'm gonna keep them. Uh, this I just thought was very cute, but I'm never using it, and this... Uh, no. So it's gonna go. This one is awesome. Wait, what? Huh? 
Uh, oh, and the other one is in here. I really think this is awesome and I think this is awesome, but I just never use it. And to be honest, this is awesome as well. But I don't think I'll ever use it. It's gonna go. Oh my gosh. This one I love. I love tickets. I love them. So I'm gonna keep it. Ah. Uh, Ooh, okay. Now these are two backgrounds that I have from Hera Arts. So I'm going to keep these. Well, they're different, of course, but I think I'm going to keep these. And when I get to the Hera Arts, I'm going to throw those out. These are really awesome backgrounds. And that's the trouble with having so many. I had forgotten I had these backgrounds. So now I hope I can use them more often. Okay, these are my favorite flowers with a little punch. They're awesome. And this one I love as well. So I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> this one is so cute. I made such cute cards with these. And I don't really often make baby cards. But lately I had to make a few uh, baby cards. And um, this one is really cute for that. So I can keep this one and actually throw out the rest. If I find them. So this is a keeper. Yeah, I really wanted to use this one because I love this and this. And when we go traveling and I wanted it for my traveling kit and stuff. And I just never use it. I might have used it once. And a postcard. No, I don't need it. It can go. I really love this one and this one. But that's stamping up. I don't really need this one. Oh, this one is awesome. Okay, so I'm going to keep this because I have two sets in here. This one I really love. And um, this one I think is awesome. And this one and this one. I don't think I'm going to use this big one. But because I have two sets in here, well, this one can stay. So I'm going to keep this one. Okay, let's put them together a bit more. So I have these. This is awesome. I love all of them. And I used them a lot when I first bought it. And... Um, now I just forgot I had it. This one I don't need because I use real washi tape. Yeah, I use real... I just don't use this. So uh, this is gonna go on the I'm not sure pile. Actually, the I'm not sure pile is also the... Uh, one of them is gonna go pile. <laughs> I have to figure out how to do that. So uh, that's this one. Okay. This was so awesome because you can make it rain hearts and drops and flowers and I just loved it so much but I never use it. This one on the other hand I really like. So here we go again. How am I going to do this? Why did I put them in two? But look at this. It's just one, one case for two of these sets. And that's why I put them together but now that I want to get rid of some it's really hard. Um, this is another one that I have a punch for. And I think it's really cute, so I think I might keep it, and I absolutely love this one. So, this is a keeper. Guys, I um, I have a lot that I'm keeping. So, uh, look at this. But to be honest, I still keep this. <laughs> to be honest, um, these are the first ones that I bought, and I bought them when I wasn't... Uh, when I was just a customer. So I bought things I really, really, really wanted, because it's quite expensive. So... Um, Later on, when I became a hostess, uh, a stamping up demonstrator, I bought a lot because I, I needed to buy a lot. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I think the first ones are the ones that I really like. So you can see the difference when you buy stuff that you really want. You think you go to one of those parties and you think, oh, I love that one. And you spend, these are 25, sometimes 30 euros for a set. It's ridiculous. I think the prices, I have always thought that are a bit ridiculous, but... Um, you know, you think it's worth it, and uh, so that's why I keep so much. I think the other shelf is going to be a different story. I'm not sure. We'll find out. I mean, if I like everything, if everything sparks joy, I know that, and I'm going to keep everything. <laughs> but for now on... Okay, this one I don't like. I don't like the, the font. Is that how you say that? And this one... Meh. I don't like either. So... That's easy. This one I really like. But I have to see if I have one of these uh, of Hera Arts. Well, I'm going to keep this one. And Hera Arts is uh, going to go if I have one of them. Oh, this I find difficult. Because I really like this one. And I do have a little punch with this. So I really like that. But I have never used it. Same goes for this. Um, but will I use it? I really like it. Okay. 
I have to think about that one. Okay, this one I thought was awesome when I saw it, but I have never ever used it. I love this one. Uh, this is awesome. This one is awesome. I thought it would be so stupid, but it's awesome. Um, to be honest, I love this one and I love this, but I have never used these. But they're together, so I might just keep them because I already have the space for this. So I have two in a set. Again, that's stamping up. I only want this one because I have a punch that goes with this and I think it's really cute. And I, I did like this one, but I don't need the rest. <laughs> but yeah, they're in a set together. So I'm going to keep this one, although I don't need those. Uh, this one is my absolute favorite. I love this flower. I use it a lot. You have to stamp this over this so you get two colors. But I also stamp this one. I've used it not that long ago. This is awesome. And I also really love this one and this. So yeah, these are keepers, but these are the ones that I bought at the beginning, like I said. And then I thought about it, thought about what I bought. These ones have really, are really cute uh, with a little punch. And this one as well. I love the fact when you have a punch that combines with it. So yeah. Okay, just a few left, well, of that first shelf. And I know, guys, I have uh, already searched through it. The ones that I really thought I don't need, I already have in a box somewhere. <laughs> in the wall of boxes. <laughs> uh, I don't know where it is yet, so I'll find out. But uh, Feathers, I love them, but I never use them. These, uh, I thought this elephant was so cute, but I just never use this. So this can go. Cute little flags. I do have a punch for this. And I do have punches for these, so I think I might just keep them. And if I don't use them often enough, I might throw them out. I keep saying throw them out, but I might uh, sell them <laughs> later on. Uh, this one I thought was really nice because you could put this in here, but I've never done it and I probably never will. So you have a little stamp over here and you can put this in here. And then you have a punch. A world map. Awesome. But I don't think I'm ever going to use it. And I think I have one from Hero Arts. Uh, I do have a, a the map of the Netherlands. So that's nice as well. I think I'm going to put it on the throw out a pile. This one I love. I do have... It's not a punch. I think I have a, a, a die for this one. And I love these. These are a bit old fashioned. So I did use them once for Christmas. But I think I can use them uh, again. So I want to keep it. Um... Oh my gosh, this is difficult. Uh, I have the, these in here, which is really handy. <laughs> so you have the, this is um, magnetic tape that I put on here. And it's really handy. And I think these I might use. Yeah. Yeah, this one is, I, I love this one. When you saw the samples people made, the cards and the stuff, I thought this is awesome. I want it. I've never used it. Same with this. Nope, it's gonna go. So these are the ones I'm gonna keep. So it's still a lot. But like I said, these were the ones when I really thought about it. Because it was a lot of money when you went to one of those parties. It would be 60 to 100 euros you spent on a party like that. So, yeah. And then I have these ones. So these are the ones I think, does it spark joy or not? When I see this, I think, wow, I have ideas. I know I have a punch and I want to make something with it. And yeah. And the same goes for this one. So this one is a keeper. This one I love, this one I don't. So how do I do that? So this is going to be a separate pile of... I have to figure out how to sell this. I think I have to put them in a, in a plastic bag or so. This one as well. So the one I'm going to keep is going to go like this. And the one I'm going to throw out is going to be over there. Same for this. Um... I really like this. I really do, but I'm never going to use it. One of a kind. Priceless. Thank you, friend. No, it's going to go. Okay, I love the Sakura. Mm, not sure about this one. So, like this. This one is going to go. I think this is really nice. These are just nice flowers. And... <laughs> This one is one of these flowers as well. You can use the same punch with it. And I love the little birdie. These I don't don't really need. Well, this is a really nice one as well. So 
you've got some stamps you don't need, but that's always the case with a set. So, uh, but I am going to keep this one. So guys, uh, that was it for, I think, this video. I have no idea how long this video is, so if it's not that long, I'm going to do the other shelf, and you're going to see it right now. So, look at this. How cute is this set? But, oh my goodness. <laughs> this is ridiculous. These are just my stamping up stamps. Can you believe it? It's so much. And I know I have, I think, a third of this already in boxes to sell. So, yeah, I do have a lot. Yeah, Marie Kondo is right. If you put it all on the floor or on a table, oh my gosh, it's so much. So let's see if I can still find out which is which from which shelf. And I'm gonna do the rest. Oh my goodness. So guys, this is what was on shelf two. And I think I'm just gonna go through it one by one and see um, if there's anything I want to keep. Because like I said, um, this is what I bought when I was uh, a demonstrator. And I just had to buy ooh, <laughs> a lot uh, just to keep being a demonstrator. You had to have a certain amount every three months. So um, yeah, I bought most of it myself. <laughs> okay, let's just dig in. This one I really want to keep. I love the sakura. By now you know I love sakura. I love the snowflakes. I love the leaves. And there's even, I think, uh, a die set with this one. So I haven't seen the dies yet, but that's for later. This one I want to keep. Are they all upside down? Oh. This one, yeah. I really love this one and I do have a, a punch or a, a die for this. But... This is just not something we use in the Netherlands, so no, nope, it's gonna go. This is an all-time favorite. This one I'm gonna keep. Uh, this is really nice for Alice in Wonderland. So, yeah, I'm gonna keep this one. <laughs> okay, this one is Dutch again, and it's really hard to find really nice Dutch uh, sentiments, but this is actually more for a planner. I'm not gonna use this. It's gonna go. This is awesome, but I don't think I've ever used it. Nope. And I probably never will. It's gonna go. More words. Um, I thought this would be awesome. I have dies for this, but uh, yeah. No, nope, it's gonna go. This one, I don't know, because this one is really nice with this. And I do love flamingos. <laughs> so this is gonna be on the I'm not sure yet pile. Well, that was the first. Okay. This one is really cute. Is there something in here? Oh, that's what I mean. You have a little thing like this in a huge box like this. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep them in here. Oops. Uh, but I do love this one and I do have punches and I, I just love this little bowl. This one I'm gonna keep. Um, I really like these flowers, but nope. Okay, this one I'm not really sure about if I'm gonna use this, but I really like the mountains and these cuties. So this is one. I'm gonna keep for now, but I might get rid of in a year or so if I... I think uh, after I've finished doing this, uh, then maybe a year later, I'm just gonna check again. And maybe, well, or I'm gonna use it. <laughs> this is a favorite of mine, so yes, I'm going to keep this one. I thought this one was really awesome. Uh, picture perfect, it's perfect, snappy birthday and, you know, news flash, you are awesome, so flash. But no, I'm not gonna use it. <laughs> oh, this one I love. I love this t-shirt and then just stamp anything you like in it and there's a little dye with it. Yes. Uh, turn this one around. This one I like too because I went in doubt stamp. I love this one. And don't quit your daydream. And happy birthday, this is a cute one. The rest I'm not really sure if I am going to use, but these, this one and this one and this one is worth the set. So I'm gonna keep it. Yeah, this one I'm gonna keep. I love this and this one. So yeah. This one I find hard because I really do like this little border, but I'm not sure if I have more borders from different, uh, from other companies. So it's gonna go on the I'm not sure pile. This one is awesome. Oh, it's in here. It's awesome. There are also dies with here. With this. Oh, I thought they were in here. 
Um, really nice big numbers. It's really nice to use for a birthday or whatever. So I really like this one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is Dutch again, and uh, it's really nice, but it's, it's not something you say that much. Uh, this is f for my beloved. I don't, I don't say that. For a good friend, for a wonderful man, for a fantastic woman. Nope, it's not something I say. <laughs> Last one from this pile is hearts, and uh, I thought I had loads of heart stamps, but it turns out I don't. So I really want to keep these, and I think I have a punch with this, because sometimes it's just really nice to use a little heart with dots, and this one is cute, and that one is cute. Yes! Okay, well that's a bit quicker than the last uh, shelf, uh, but let's go on. Uh, I really like these, but to be honest, I like the other ones better. So in here, I think there are dies as well. Oh boy. So it has dies, and uh, this was a really expensive set. And, I, and there's a little bit of ribbon you get for free. Um, but no, I like the other ones better. It can go. I really love this one, but we don't say that in the Netherlands. Wishing you a sweet season. Um, I really like the look, the way this looks, the, it's a bit of 50s feel, a bit old fashioned, but it's all stuff we don't see in the Netherlands. So it's gonna go. Yeah, this one was really cute, but uh, nope, it's gonna go. <laughs> um, I really love this one. I also have some dice with this one. So again, some little hearts. I want to keep this. Oh dear. I actually really don't like these letters. I have no idea why I bought it, actually. Uh, this one I thought was awesome. These are just uh, shapes, and if you use them correctly, you have an alphabet, which is really awesome, but let's just see. Oh, that's not stamping up. Oh, I just bought these again. <laughs> I didn't know they were in here. I have no idea why. Oh, awesome. Okay, so uh, it's gonna go. This was so expensive. These are two sets again that I put in one box, but uh, I have just, I've never used it. Oh, this one I really like. This is bigger than you think. Um, and oh, it's also in here. There are dies with it, I mean, embossing folders. This is one I can try out. I really love the dots as well, of course. So I want to keep this one. This one I really, really, really wanted and I bought the punch and I have for this flower and I just, I don't think I've ever used it, no. I wanted it so bad and I bought it and I bought the punch and it was very expensive together and I just never used it. It's gonna go. Oh, this is difficult because I love this. Enjoy life and have fun. But the rest, congratulations, thanks. Oh, I don't know. The rest, I I would only keep it for this stamp. Need to think about that. Ah, uh, birthday, wedding, baby, happy birthday. Blah, blah, blah. No, boring. Oh, this one I love. I love this flower. I love these little thingies. And I don't know. I don't think I'm going to use these sentiments. But this one is really cute. Yeah. Oh, this is difficult. Um, I really love the peacock, but I've used it once and well, that was nice. And I love these, but yeah, I'm not going to keep the whole set. Look at this whole box. This little thing. <laughs> That's insane. So I've used it once and that was really nice, but no. Uh, then you have this one. Oh, this is a bit difficult because I really do love these things over here and more hearts I really like that so uh, yeah gonna keep this one and that was it so this is what I'm keeping yeah right <laughs> and then this is what I'm throwing out which is all uh, just as high the pile of Keeping is just as high as the pile of that up uh, I'm going to sell. So, blah. 
let's just see. Uh, okay, I really do like it, but I don't think I'm going to use it. It's going to go. I only want this one. So what I can do is take this one out and sell it this for a really ridiculous price. So uh, I'm going to put this one aside because uh, I want this stamp. I like it and the rest I don't need. So let's see if someone wants it. The rest. Um, well, this is one, like I said, I need to find out if I have more borders. So for now it's going to stay. But these are those special ones. Because actually I want to say, okay, this one can go. But I do like some borders. And actually I only like this one. So uh, if I have one that looks a bit like it, it's going to go immediately. This one, Flamingo and stuff. Oh dear, what am I going to do with this? I really do like it. Yeah, this one is one of those that uh, I'm going to keep. Because I'm not sure if I want to part with it yet. It doesn't spark as much joy as I hoped it would. <laughs> but it's also not one that I think I can let go of right now. So... Let's see if I use it in the next year. If not, it's gonna go in a year. Oh, wait, what was the throwaway pile and what was the what I'm gonna keep? Pile? This is what I'm gonna keep. Okay. Empty. And these two. Well, I'll just have to see. So guys, this is the pile that I'm going to sell. And from the first shelf, I have a pile like this as well. So I think I've just sorted out one whole shelf uh, of stamping up stamps that I'm going to sell and the rest is gonna go on one shelf. So wow and that's the what I really like about this. I have so many stamps that I don't know what I have and now I have them all on one shelf and that's really way better and um, I just like it and the thing I love about the Marie Kondo way, uh, way is the, just a little phrase, if it sparks joy, keep it, if it doesn't, toss it. And uh, I'm, I think I told you at the beginning of this video, I don't know anymore, that was yesterday. But I haven't read any of the books, I haven't seen that much videos. Um, I just know that phrase and to put everything together, like I just did. When I put it on the floor, I thought, whoa, it's way more than I thought. And that's really visual and really shocking every now and then. So that's real a really good thing to do. And uh, But just those two, two things work for me. So um, I'm just going to do it like that. And if I'm finished with my whole house in a year or two, I might just uh, read the book and do it again. <laughs> but for now, I'm very happy with this. And as a collector, that phrase, if it sparks joy, is amazing. Because if I would have loved everything, I just would have kept it. And it, it feels good. Because norm normally when you need to sort through things and clean everything and, and get rid of stuff, you feel like you have to get rid of everything. You feel like you have to become a minimalist. And um, I couldn't. <laughs> uh, some, some people like that. And that's really great. Whatever you like. But uh, for me, I like having stuff around me. And I like to have a bit more choice of my stamps and I love collecting stuff. I just love that. So I don't don't want to get rid of everything. But I am getting rid of the stuff that doesn't spark that much joy. And so I can enjoy the stuff that I have left. And that's not this. Way better. And that's what I love about it. So it's been a bit of a long video, but I hope you still liked it. Um, I'm going to try and sell these now <laughs> on Marktplaat. So if you're Dutch, uh, check out Mark Platz. <laughs> if they're online, I'm gonna leave a link down below to one of my um, one of these, and then you can see what else I'm selling. Um, if you're not in the Netherlands, yeah, it's a bit hard to buy them. And guys, I'm not gonna ask mo a lot for it, but uh, shipping to the UK to um, the US and stuff is is just way too expensive. It's not worth it. So, um, but for the Dutch friends, please check out Mark Platz. <laughs> okay. So that was it for today. You know, I would love a big thumbs up if you like the video and I would love to read your comments. What do you think? Could you do this? <laughs> I still can't believe I did it. I'm, I'm going to put these away real quickly because if you go back to it, you think, should I keep it? No, I decided it's all going to go. So all that's left to say is, groetje from Holland. Greetings from Holland. Bye.